In this Diablo 2 Resurrected build guide, we're going to be taking a look at the Lightning Javazon. This is an endgame Amazon build that can get you through Nightmare and even the Hell difficulty in Diablo 2 Resurrected. If you're looking for an endgame Amazon Javelon build, then this guide is for you. The Lightning Javazon is one of the highest DPS builds in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Using the Lightning Fury skill to deal with crowds of enemies from a distance, and Charge Strike to deal with bosses and elites in melee combat, this build can clear any type of content in just a couple of seconds. This Diablo 2 Amazon build is intended to be used for Nightmare and Hell difficulty starting around level 40. You can start the game with this build, but I personally recommend you use our Poison Javazon build instead, and then respec into this one. If you're already playing and want to respec into this build though, the easiest way to do it is by claiming the Den of Evil reward from Akara at the Rogue Encampment. You'll get three respecs, one for each difficulty, and you'll need to be on the same difficulty to reclaim them. Like most builds in Diablo 2 Resurrected, our stat distribution will focus on assigning enough points into strength and dexterity to meet equipment requirements, and then assigning everything else into vitality to gain as much life as possible. Having a Hellfire Torch and an Annihilus will be greatly reduce your stat investment into strength. These unique charms provide between plus 10 to 20 to all attributes and 10 to 20 to all elemental resistances. Having both in your inventory will save you between 20 and 40 stat points that you can spend into vitality, greatly increasing your health pool. The additional passive resistances will also allow you to depend less on all resistance equipment, opening up more options. If you don't have a Hellfire Torch or an Annihilus yet, I strongly recommend that you get them as soon as you can. Perfect rolled ones are very expensive, but you can get bad rolled ones for very affordable prices. Make sure to get a low roll when you're starting off, and then upgrade it when you have enough money. The Lightning Javazon focuses on the Javelon and Spear Tree, but you'll also need to spend some points into the Passive and Magic Tree. You use the following skills when playing this Diablo 2 Resurrected Amazon build. Lightning Fury. This skill enhances your Javelin throw, making it release a bolt of lightning when you hit an enemy for each enemy in range. This means that the more enemies there are, the more powerful Lightning Fury is. This effect will happen for each enemy that gets struck by your attack, meaning that if the Javelin pierces through the first enemy and hits a second one, you'll get two times the amount of Lightning Bolts. Pierce. This will provide your projectiles a passive chance to pass through enemies on hit. This includes your Javelin throws and will allow you to trigger Lightning Fury multiple times on a single throw. With the optimal gear, you'll be able to get around 75% from the Pierce skill by only assigning one point here. When you add that with 33% Pierce chance provided by the Razor Tail Belt, you'll get more than 100% pierce chance, meaning that your Lightning Fury throws will always pierce through your enemies. Charge Strike. This skill allows you to perform a melee attack with added lightning damage that also releases charged bolts on impact. This is the highest single target DPS skill in the game and allows you to defeat elites and bosses in less than a second. Penetrate. This skill greatly increases your attack rating, allowing you to successfully land your charge strikes on bosses without any issues. Dodge, Avoid, and Evade. These three skills allow you to evade enemy attacks in different circumstances, greatly increasing your survivability. Valkyrie, optional. I personally like to spend one point here to use the Valkyrie as a meat shield. It's very important to keep your mercenary alive due to infinity weapon effects, and the Valkyrie will draw attention away from him. Since this guide begins at level 40, you'll first want to focus on your Lightning Fury and Charge Strike, and then later on unlock your Valkyrie and max out the synergies. You should have around 43 skill points at level 40, 39 from levels, and 4 from quests. You should have your skills placed in the following manner. At level 90, you should have 101 skill points to distribute 89 from levels and 12 from quests, and they should look like this. When you're first starting off, you'll obviously have less gear, so here are some cheap rune words and unique items that you can use while you search for better gear. First up is helmets, and the first one is the lore rune word. This helmet provides plus 1 to all skills, as well as plus 30% lightning resistance. You can farm the runes for this by completing Nightmare Countess. When it comes to weapons, you want to look for javelons of all rarities. Try to search with magic javelons with plus 3 to javelin and spear skills, or rare javelins with plus 2 to Amazon skills. As a secondary mod, you want to search for attack speed and life leech. For your shield, you'll want to use Ancient's Pledge Rune Word. This shield doesn't provide plus skills, but compensates by granting a huge boost to resistances, allowing you to survive early hell. For armor, you want the Peace Rune Word. This is a great option early on and provides plus two to all skills, faster hit recovery, cold resistance, and provides a chance to cast Valkyrie on striking. When it comes to gloves, be on the lookout for something that has plus javelin skills and attack speed. Until you find that, focus on defensive stats such as life and resistances. For the belt, you'll want something with life and resistances. You'll want to search for faster run walk speed on your boots as well as resistances in life. 
You want to search for rings that have life, life leech, and mana leech stats and resistances. Try to find an amulet that provides stats, health, resistances, or plus Amazon skills, or plus javelin skills. For charms, you'll mainly want to look for plus life, plus resistances, plus attack rating, plus damage, and plus javelin skills. Once you're reaching max level, you'll want to start searching for the following equipment to complete your character. For helmets, you want the Griffin's Eye Unique. This helmet greatly increases your lightning skill damage and reduces enemies' lightning resistances, making it a perfect match for this build. The plus skills and defense are also great. You can insert a Lightning Rainbow Facet to further increase your lightning damage, a Rao Rune or any other resistant rune, or a Cham Rune for it cannot be frozen, which will free a ring slot. There are a couple different options when it comes to javelins, and they all have different dexterity requirements, so consider what you'll want to use so you can better distribute your stats. Titan's Revenge Unique. This javelin provides a lot of plus skills, strength, dexterity, plus 30% faster run walk speed, and has a massive stack size that auto-replenishes, meaning that you often don't have to worry about going back to town. I personally prefer Titans over the other options, mainly because of the run speed and stack size. Thunderstroke Unique. If you want to maximize your damage output, then this javelin not only provides plus skills, but also increased attack speed, a massive amount of flat lightning damage, it lowers enemies' lightning resistances, and has a chance to cast lightning on hit. Many players prefer this over Titans, because of the insane damage values. Magic Javelin. Amazon-specific javelins can spawn with two sets of plus skills on the same item, meaning that it's possible to find magic javelins with plus six javelin skills. These items are extremely rare and valuable, but also the best option for this build. For a dream drop, you'll want to search for increased attack speed as well. For your shield, you want the Spirit Rune Word. This shield provides plus two to all skills and 25-35% to faster cast rate. It also provides many defensive stats such as elemental resistances, faster hit recovery, and vitality. If you are having trouble finding a 4-slot shield, just find a Monarch Shield which can usually be found at the start of Hell Difficulty, and take it to Larzuk after completing the Siege of Harogoth quest. For armor, you have a couple of options, and the first is the Chains of Honor Rune Word. This build usually lacks resistances, so this is a perfect option to compensate for that. The plus skills, Life Leech, and Damage vs. Demons are great additions as well. The Enigma Rune Word. Many players like to run Enigma because of its teleport ability, but I wouldn't recommend it for this build. The Amazon has one of the lowest breakpoints when it comes to faster cast rate, so you'll be teleporting much slower than other characters. Enigma doesn't provide resistances either, so you might end up getting killed by teleporting into an enemy. For gloves, you'll want to find magic gloves with plus 3 to javelin and spear skills and 20% increased attack speed, or rare gloves with plus 2 to javelin and spear skills, 20% increased attack speed, and other useful stats such as life leech, mana leech, resistances, life, etc. When it comes to belts, you have two options. The first is the Razor Tail Unique. As previously mentioned, this belt provides you with an additional 30% chance to pierce enemies. This stacks with your own pierce skill, providing you a 100% proc chance, which greatly increases your overall performance when using Lightning Fury. The second option is Thunder God's Vigor Unique. This belt is another great option, as it increases your damage by providing plus 3 to Lightning Fury and a flat Lightning Damage bonus. It also provides Strength, Vitality, and increases your Lightning Defense with Lightning Absorb and increased Maximum Lightning Resistance. I personally think that Razor Tail is a much better option for this build, but if you opt for Thunder God, you might want to spend a couple more points into Pierce to make sure your attacks are passing through your enemies. For boots, you have a few options. The first is Alder's Advance. These boots provide a massive 40% faster run walk speed as well as fire resistance and life. War Traveler's Unique. These boots provide 25% faster run walk speed, strength, and increase your magic find by a massive 30-50%. to 50%. Sandstorm Unique. These boots provide plus 20% faster hit recovery, strength, and vitality. The faster hit recovery will help avoid getting stunlocked by most enemies. When it comes to rings, you want one Stone of Jordan. This ring provides plus one to all skills, as well as a lot of mana, which is critical for this build. The other ring is the Raven Frost Unique. This ring prevents you from being frozen. If you can afford a Cham Rune, you can insert it into your helmet and use an additional Stone of Jordan instead. There are a couple of amulets that you can use. The first is High Lord's Wrath Unique. This amulet provides plus one to all skills, lightning resistance, lightning damage, and increased attack speed. The other option is Mars Kaleidoscope. This amulet provides plus two to all skills, as well as 20 to 30 to all resistances, and plus five to all attributes. For charms, you'll mainly want to look for plus resistances, plus life, plus attack rating, plus damage, and plus javelin skills. The plus resistance charms are very important, as this build lacks resistances on hell difficulty. When it comes to mercenaries, you want to get the Holy Freeze Mercenary from Act 2 Nightmare for this build. The Holy Freeze Aura is great for dealing with large crowds of enemies. When it comes to equipment, you'll want to get an Infinity Rune Word for the weapon, a Fortitude Rune Word for the armor, and Vampire Gaze for the helmet. 
The Infinity Rune Word is very important for this build as it greatly reduces enemies' lightning resistances, allowing you to even kill lightning immune enemies. Final tips. This build consumes a lot of mana, so make sure to run at least two or three mana columns. Ethereal Titans restock on their own, but if you're spamming them too much, you may end up with idle time. If this is constantly happening, consider getting a second stack of Titans to swap them out while they restock. Lightning Fury works best against large groups of enemies. Luring all enemies in the area into a single group will allow you to defeat them in a single attack, which is not only very fun, but saves a lot of time. While you can clear all content without issues, the secret cow level is filled with tightly packed enemies, making it a perfect target for this build. If you're having trouble with any type of enemy, use Charge Strike on it. This skill can destroy any kind of enemy, including bosses, in less than a second. Stay tuned for more Diablo 2 build guides, and be sure to check out our Diablo 2 Resurrected Wiki for more information about the game. What did you guys think of this build? Are you guys using a Jabazon? Let us know in the comments below.